right. Hi. Hi. I'm your host, Oraldo, for It's Tejano Time. Hey, check it out. You can see my monitor. I know. You can probably see mine, too. Hey, <laughs> Nemo. I'm Nemo with Tejano USA. And you're watching, listening, and watching Tejano Talk. Hey, Nemo. How's it going? <laughs> it's uh, Did... so good. We're having our shades. Yeah, I know. What's that song? Uh... That's that song. God, I can't no, my future's so bright, I have to wear shades. Yeah, whatever. Who we sang that song? Do you remember? Not a clue. Q Lewis in the News, I think. No, it wasn't was Q it? Lewis. It no was a uh, okay. oh, well. single artist. Some of you might be wondering why we're wearing our shades, because uh, our guest, he always wears shades and stuff like that. But before that, Nemo, we had. did you enjoy your last uh, last week off? Yeah, it was great. had a great Father's Day. Enjoyed it with my girls. Uh, went out to the beach. Can't beat that. You? I had a great time. Uh, I took my daughter to the beach. What, what beach did you go to? Galveston. We went to Galveston. Just a quick, quick road trip. Okay. Well, we went to Port Aransas, and ah. uh, we went. To, and I have cousins that live in Corpus too. But okay. we went to the Selena. Uh, uh, Not important museum. right now. Not important. Wait, 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 wait. We have JR. We're waiting for I know. JR. We're gonna take. But I'm gonna show. You're I don't want JR show. time right here. Wait a second. I want to show you a picture. Oh, oh okay. let's see the picture, please. Oh, my God. Okay. Guess who's on it? Right? <laughs> I, he has a hairpiece. Does he have a hairpiece? I don't know. But you know what? I was thinking about, since he, he's, you know, he's in his 80s. You should, like uh, I, you should talk I to him. I need to dye my. Uh, about a hairpiece. What? I don't know. But uh, so his dad was there. And so we got to talk to Very him. Nice. And stuff. And he, cool. he gave me a, a CD of some new music and stuff like that. And uh, uh, I had a great time. My, my daughter, did she, <laughs> she looked did excited. You, oh, yeah. It looked like she was flipping uh, you off. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> well, we you, have. Go, go. I was right, going to say, did uh, you tell him who you were? Hey, you know who I am? Uh, of course. He knew exactly yeah, who I was. I uh -oh, knew it. Wait a second. All right. I have to. Whoops. I just. Uh, I was going to put up the screen and let's see if it works. Okay. J JR. Okay. There we go. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Man, I'm I, sorry, JR. Hey, I, I know. You're normally more professional yeah. than this. I try. I, I'm still learning this. Nah. <laughs> We've been doing okay. I got to check out my sunglasses. Now. I cannot edit with this stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know how he All does right. it. I don't know how yeah. people are with sunglasses. It's like. All right. JR. Bam. How's it going? Yo. Not, I'm not close, man. Oh, guys, how y'all doing? Okay, wait a second. I had JD up there. Okay, sorry about that. I know. What was the wrong up with that? Screen. All right. Who's JD? Yeah, who's JD? Who's JD? No, JD. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I mean, I you wear sunglasses everywhere? I mean, like, even when you're at home, uh, you know, no, how's that work? <laughs> how's that work, man? <laughs> No, I just wear, it's, it's just part of my look. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I it all it's his brand. How about when you drive at night, though? Uh, it depends, you know what I mean? If I feel like it, you know what I mean? I okay. wear my sunglasses at night. So I can. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so. I knew he knew the song, man. By the way. Uh, but no, it's been a, the look, you know what I'm saying? The bald head look. But I try to grow out a beard, too, you know what I mean? And then, but uh, it's the pit bulls, he, he grew out a beard as well. So. I, I, I'm trying to escape them because they say, you know, they call me Pitbull. I'm like, come on now. Come on, man. No. <laughs> man. You're so, JR, boss. Hell. Yeah, I know. I know. But it, it is what it is. I, I've heard it so many times. So it's, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, no, I, thank I, you guys I, so much. Yeah. Do you do <laughs> any Pitbull songs that you're in your set? No, 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 no. Okay. No. Right. Do that. Shot, shot, shot. Or shot. Fireball or. <laughs> yeah, like that. Okay. we do that. We actually do. We, we, uh, we play around with that because I, I, I do. Uh, I, you know, just uh, I like to uh, talk to the crowd and stuff and get them involved. So, you know, I, I, I let them know. So okay. we have a good time. But I know it ain't no hard feelings or nothing. I don't care. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got my own career. I have a great yeah. resume. You know what I mean? So you should be called worse, actually, right? Yeah. Until they actually like, they're like, well, who are you? And I'm like, like oh, wow. <laughs> who are you? What the fuck? Yeah. You know, because they're like, oh, because it's like really a lot of like the. The, the white people and stuff. I mean, whatever. You know, they're like, Mr. Worldwide, Mr. Worldwide. I'm like, ah. and they're, they're like, we take it again. Yeah, it is what it is. But I, yeah, I'll be in Vegas, so I'll probably do like, a, you know, one of those uh, uh, the impersonators. Hey, you you know the, I mean? <laughs> I'll be on the, the, 
you're doing the pool party with Stephanie yeah. and uh, Gabe and uh, uh, the Garcia brothers, right? I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. So are yeah. the Garcia brothers going to wear their suits on the pool? Yeah, they're going to do it. They got, wow. they got style. You know what I mean? Branding, dude. I mean, I, I try to keep my – I always wear black. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I won't wear shorts yeah. for the pool party. You know what I mean? Because I'm on stage. I want to entertain. That's my yeah. – I want to look good. So that's the way I always tell my guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And uh, you know what? I, I like that you are uh, – I you're a Cajunto band and uh, – you, your, I guess your roots with Jay and so, like. Uh, well, I mean, uh, we're you know, I mean, Tejano, you know what I'm saying? But you know, yeah. but um, I, I uh, grew up in Lubbock, Texas, over there in Plainview, Texas. So yeah. I grew up listening to the hometown boys and uh, you know Los Sarcos and Manos Peña. So it's a, uh, I have my own. Uh, I try to incorporate my own uh, style. Style of conjunto, but my inspirations come from you know different parts. I just, I don't want to copy anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think you have a more of a Tejano vibe anyway. Yeah, I'm progressive. I'm very, I'm a Kuhunta progressive. You know what I mean? We can get away with doing Tejano stuff. You know what I mean? We uh, uh, adapt and they want it. We'll give it to them. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, the first time uh, I ever, okay, I was gone. I had this uh, show back in the 90s. Uh, it's a Han music video and, and stuff like that uh, when you were a teenager and stuff like that. But, uh, <laughs> and then I, I took a 20 year hiatus and then, I went and saw, I went to Fort Worth, uh, Pancho Pistola had a Cajunto Festival right outside of yep. uh, Billy, Bob's. Billy Bob's. And that was the first time I ever heard you perform or seen you perform. Wow. And I was going, holy cow, this guy that is awesome. That was one of the first times you, you, you played DFW, right? What's that now? Was that? Like, that was one of the first times you played over here? Well, uh, you, you, with, with my Cajunto, yeah, on my own, yeah. Um, because, yeah. you know, the, yeah, Oh, yeah. Yeah, Pancho, uh, he really gave me uh, a lot of, uh, he opened a lot of doors for me as far as like, a solo artist over there in that area. Um, so thank you, Pancho Pistolas, for everything you've done for me. But um, yeah, you know, he's at uh, Billy Bob's. And then we actually played with uh, La Mafia and uh, I think it was Michael Salgado inside Billy Bob's. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, Joe Casillas and those guys got us that show. So that was an amazing, you know, uh, feeling because... We, um, my last album, my first album on the back cover, it shows me holding the accordion. It's the crowd. And they were telling me that it's rare that, um, the opening band, the very opening band has a crowd up there at the front already. Oh, they yeah. have to pull back in the back and they'll wait and stuff, but they were there and then I had the crowd going and it was, it was amazing. You know what I'm saying? I love to entertain. I, I, you know, being with AB Quintanilla for 10 years, you know what I'm saying? It's, we've done big crowds and stuff like that. So I'm not... Uh, I wasn't a stranger to it, but it's just, it gets, it gets hard. No, it don't get hard. It, it gets challenging because I'm playing the accordion, singing, yeah. trying to entertain. And I'm also the, uh, I talk, you know, I, I um, you know, I do the talking too. I have to interact with the crowd. So it's very, I, you know what? And I actually threw up <laughs> that joke. I did. I was so uh, like, man, I was pushing so much. And I went to the side of the stage and the monitor guy was like, he was like, like, you know, he took care of us, but he was like, man, I'm sorry. What do you want? Like, what do you need now? And I go, dude, move out of the way. And I was like, <laughs> give me a bucket. <laughs> yeah, because we took some shots before this. I was going to say, was it tequila? Oh, yeah. What was it? What was yeah, it? Okay. it was all right. All right. Yeah. So, all right. You know what I mean? So I, I threw up and I went back on stage and we did like Johnny Cash or something. I don't know. But <laughs> I felt so oh, yeah. much better. And, so. and, and yeah, it, it's an amazing feeling. But thank you. Uh, the Dallas Fort Worth area, uh, they're, they're very. Uh, they support us a lot, so thank yeah, you you're 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 big yeah. time here, man. Oh yeah, and I and ever you, since and I you started. earned it too because you you've, you've oh, yeah. done really well and you put on a badass show. Thank you. Yeah. Big we, we had La Fiebre here a couple weeks ago, and uh, you used to play with them back in the day. Yeah, so yeah. how many different bands have you played? So what did you do with uh, AB? Chingo. I was I was the lead singer. Uh, I was actually I came in as the backup singer. Um, DJ Kane and uh, okay. And Joey Jimenez, he's a drummer. Yeah. For, uh, he was a signo, and uh, yeah. so all those guys, uh, awesome guys. Um, so they brought me in the band, um, and I was a backup singer. And then something happened with DJ Kane, and you know, with AB, whatever. And uh, AB asked me if I wanted to be the lead singer, so I uh, stepped forward and became the lead singer. And, um, yeah, it was great. We we toured all South America, Mexico, um, all United States. It, it was a great, great feeling. Yeah. 
you know what? I love your voice because uh, you hit the high <laughs> notes, and you, and I know you can hit the low notes too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got a nice range in your voice. So I, tell us I, a little bit yeah. about your history. Who you've been with? Uh... Yeah, I mean, it started back in. Like, I've been doing I it for it. thirty years. <laughs> I mean, uh, I want to say uh, I'm going on maybe thirty-four years already uh, performing. Yeah. Uh, what, but, what took you so long to get here, man? <laughs> no, I, mean, it, I, I was learning. You know, yeah. I got to learn. For it. So right. I mean, I uh, learned when he was like 13. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. He's a teenager, man. Yeah. I, I started with La Fiebre back in about, uh, about 96. That's crazy. About 96 of uh, La yeah. Fiebre. Uh, be, but before that, in Lubbock, I was uh, I would perform with these, uh, like, old school bands, you know, orchestra bands, and we'd, uh, you know, back up a lot of artists, like, you know, Sonny Osuna, Joe Bravo, and yeah. And they, and then I'd go take my accordion and go jam with Ruben Ramos and, you know, uh, Little Joe and those cats, man. So um, I just wanted to learn every style of Tejano music, you know, because there's orchestra, there's keyboard, there's, you know, there's a lot of stuff. You know, you can't be playing a lot of accordion when it's the horns. And, uh, yeah. You just got to, you know, you got to know your your spot. And uh, and then, uh, but yeah, we, uh, La Fiebre, and then I was with Excelencia for a little while. And then, nice. All right. And then, and then when Chente Barrera went solo after leaving Jay, I was his first accordion player with Chente. Um, and then that's when I went with Jay Perez. Because, okay. yeah, they were scouting and stuff. And, they, you know, they saw me with Chente and Jerry, uh, Jerry uh, De La Rosa. He uh, hit me up. He's like, come on, you know, you want to come with Jay? And I was like, yeah, man. I'm, Jay's awesome, man. He's the voice. So I was about 18 years old when I got with Jay. Wow. Yeah. yeah, man. So it was Jay, and then uh, I would go with Jimmy Gonzalez. And then, uh, Jimmy, yeah. Yeah, Jimmy G. And then uh, and then I'd go back with Jay. It was just, you know what I mean? They were just, it was a crazy time. I was young, but it was like, you know, they were giving, they, they knew what I brought to the table, so they were giving me more money. And I was like, hey, what is he paying you over here? I'll give you more. But yeah. they, they were both on top. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Playing I mean, hot potato. Top, yeah. That's, That's a great today. place to be at. Yeah, yeah, you know, so, um, and then I had my own little solo career at the time back in the day. Um, it didn't work out, you know what I'm saying? It was just, uh, I don't even want to go into that story because it's, uh, yeah, crazy, crazy. Right. You, um, I think you used to play, your dad had a band. You got like uh, five brothers and sisters, three girls, three yeah. boys. You're yeah, three boys, three, three girls. girls, yeah. Yeah, we, everybody <laughs> played music. My dad sang, played the guitar, and my brother played drums. My other brother played the bass. My sister played accordion, and the the twins one played sax, one played trumpet. Okay. And Did so, your sister uh, teach you how to play the accordion, or she give you some pointers? No, uh, I, I don't think so because I don't remember. But uh, okay. he, he got uh, married and left them there. So my dad's the one that actually like he was trying to get me going on that. So he, my dad probably taught me like one or two songs, and then we tried to get lessons in town, but nobody taught me the right way. So I ended up yeah. just learning myself you know we'd go watch bands and i'd just be in the front row you know what i mean like anybody that come into town and and uh this was back in the day in plainview in lubbock like where they were doing like la mafia versus la sombra mas versus la fiebre i'm talking about battles you know what i mean like so it was yeah. like and then i'd go watch david Mares, you know you know jaime de anda you know what i'm saying with, with juan p moreno it's just i love i love the hot music i love our our culture you know what i'm saying i love I love doing this, you know what I'm saying? I take it seriously, and uh, and I just, it hurts when a lot of people, you know, they, they have words to say, and I'm like, man, y'all don't know the hard work that we've put up with and what we still do, and we're on the road every weekend and oh, trying yeah. to make music to make the fans happy, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, this world is kind of mean now, so it's like, you know what I mean? You don't know, but you really uh, appreciate the true fans that support you. Well, what do you do when they're not when they're not dancing to your music? Do you get up and yell at them? <laughs> no, I have to. <laughs> I don't. No. And we'll get to that in a minute because I've, I've experienced that, what, what uh, A.B. is talking about. And, and a, we'll talk about A.B. because I'm actually, I'm, I'm on his new song coming out. So, oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So, so, it's, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you were doing your history. You were there with Jay on and off with Jimmy and stuff. And then... And then uh, in 2009, I, that's when I joined A.B. Quintanilla with the Cumbia All-Stars and DJ okay. Kane, the Spanish. Um, yeah, it's uh, 2009. And then I, I would still help out Jay every once in a while because uh, A.B. was off for a little bit. So I'd go help out Jay. 
And then, uh, what was it, 2018, that's when I made the, the Bandits, the Kawunka Bandits. Bandits. Okay. So, when was uh, Asalto? Was no, no, he, okay. This, uh, okay, we had uh, Jordan Rodriguez from uh, Grupo Asalto. Oh, so, yeah. He told us a story on how he started, and it involved you, like that. Yeah, so, um, my, uh, so I'm from Plainview, Texas, and I was born, and one of my best friends that I would, uh, visit i mean that was my best friend we were together all the time well his his family was involved in the wreck with javier galvan oh wow oh man so yeah he uh you know you know he hit him head on so um wow. so it was very hard on me so because i mean i know javier but it's like this is my family that's this is where i'm from this is where i could walk in the door and nobody i could just walk in and so yeah. it was my best friend's sister and her daughter and the, and the little one you know what i mean and so i uh, i just tried to do what i could and i did two benefits for them uh for the family whatever i could raise and just spread the word out there the gofundme made a lot of money um yeah. but you can never replace you know families that are gone yeah. you know what i mean members so it hit the town pretty hard so i just tried to do my part so we had a, a benefit in san antonio and we had one in, in, in lubbock and uh it was Jordan's first performance in Lubbock with his band to get him going solo. And uh, so I told him, oh, come on, you could, you know, do it. So he, he was ready, yeah. So I had him going and we're talking about the names and all that stuff. So, I mean, I don't ever want to go out there and say, oh, I, you know, whatever. That's not mine. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Right. I, I think that's whatever I can, you know what I mean? Yeah, the story was that you were, you asked around, like, who's uh, pretty good out here in this area? And, uh, you contacted that someone gave you Jordan's name and stuff like that. And he said, well, I think at that time he was playing with his dad. Is well, yeah. yeah. So, so I've known uh, his family for a long time. Like I said, I'm from that area. Um, so when I would perform in love of his dad's band, me gusto, they would play in the cantinas with us, the band I was playing with. And I was only like maybe 12, 11 or 12. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, crazy. So my dad would be there, but I already knew who, uh, who his family was. And, um, yeah. So yeah, uh, love uh, magic. Uh, she's Mosa. She had told me that Jordan's doing very good over here, and like yeah. you know, he's, he's trying to get solo career going. So I was like, man, well, he had never played live with this band. So uh, that was the uh, first time he had played. So All he right. did awesome. Yeah, that's a great yeah. resume, man. No kidding. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah. Uh, now. I when I, I I do a lot of research and emo he just comes on he's got his own research that he does but uh, I heard I mean I I watch a lot of other podcasts and stuff like that and I heard you at, at one time I think it was after Jay that you started cooking for the that little university in Austin <laughs> no, no, no. look I'm an egg here baby. I'm the Aggie here okay <laughs> like that that little school in Austin so. Uh, I'm gonna, so to, you, uh, I'm gonna have to log off, guys. Uh, yeah, you know, there you go. Hey, you know what? Yeah, yeah. There goes, there goes your I ring. I said, but I show found that, that out. Said, show that ring. Yeah, I was gonna say. Should have never told me that. Should have never oh, told that. me that. Man, go oh, ahead. But I found out you could. Okay, but let's see. You didn't go you, to school. You are free to use that for it. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Okay, but did you learn how to cook better there, or did you always know how to cook? Or well, I think you said. I, I love to cook. Like, I seriously love to cook. Um, my mom's from the Valley of Texas, so she yeah. loves to cook. So she taught me everything. But when, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I wanted to retire. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get off the road, just do something else. And I, like I said, I love to cook. So I had a, I guess, a hookup there to get a job there. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah. I uh, had an interview with the, the head chef, and I did my thing, and it was awesome. I learned a lot of stuff there. Yeah, cooks for the basketball players, for the football players. Anything you had to do with like uh, Longhorns, like we did everything. So that was. I put a little extra spice in there in their food if I were you. I have no, I you have no flavor over there at, at, in in AM, so. <laughs> Ah, oh, okay. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, actually, the Aggies are in the baseball World Series right now. So they, they cheated. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> Okay, when I saw you, okay, I'm gonna say a little something because uh, I'm overweight. And a few years ago, when I saw you, you were a little overweight. But now you're pretty <laughs> cut up. So what'd you do to yeah, lose all this weight? Give me out, a yeah. 
Yeah, you got to work. Right. Out, you know? in case, oh, in case, yeah, yeah I got to do okay. something. But, no, um, just eating right, you know what I'm saying, uh, working out. These uh, summers are hot, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And we do a lot of outdoor shows, so I got to keep it. I got to keep I got to keep up with it. You know what I'm saying? It's a workout for me. You got to stay away from Whataburger when you're out there. Yeah, I don't like Whataburger anymore. It, it ain't good to me. No. You're what? sick? What? Not, no, no, it's not. It doesn't taste the same. It doesn't taste the same. Uh, Ever since they I, sold it or what? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. They don't I was in court. I was in Corpus uh, last week, and uh, my daughter, we go to Whataburger a lot. After she swims and stuff like that, we don't have time for her to cook the, her. The two-story one? Yeah, the two-story yeah. one. She yeah. saw it, and we had to go. And so, and it's near that Selena uh, statue, so yeah. we all went there. But uh, she she loves Whataburger. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like it. For the most part, most people do. I think you're just burned out. And yeah. It's kind of it's always yeah. cold when I get it. It's always cold. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, well, I I was burned out of pizza. I used to be a pizza cook a long time ago. Back really? Really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. And you get all that pizza dough smell on you and all that. And, oh, you might. I don't know if you guys did. You, well, you, you, got, you attract you, the big girls. <laughs> so you you had. Okay. You Look had. That. You cooked a lot of different uh like Mexican, Italian, oh, yeah. probably all uh, hamburgers. Okay. But Pete, if you stick with one, you get tired of it. Like pizza every day. Yeah, yeah. Magic seafood, though. Like fish, you know what I'm saying? Every day. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, what's your favorite food? Everything. I'll try everything. I'll try to cook everything. So, yeah. Um, I like it all. Yeah. Oh, I can't yeah. cook fish. If I want fish, I, I always eat it at a restaurant. I, I don't like cooking fish. Or grilling fish. I, I I've never done it very well, except I did some uh, fish tacos. That's the only thing I've done. So Vegas, we're ready for Vegas. Do yes, it. I'm looking. Nemo, we I keep trying to talk Nemo into going to Vegas. He's not going. Nemo, you're not going. He, yeah, Nemo, why aren't you going? Why aren't you going? <laughs> you know, I, I might go now that he's playing at the pool party. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> JR is gone. Okay, there you go. No, no, that whole party sounds very interesting. Hey, I, you know what? Past three, I think the past three years, I've told Nemo, you know what? I have a two. I've got two beds in my uh, for uh, my uh, hotel room, and he didn't have to pay for the, the room or anything. I said you could just use the other one like that. Yeah. You know, he didn't like to spend money. You know, got to sleep for a couple of hours and then get back at it. So yeah. right. Yeah. Right. Uh, I said, don't tell him take one of our listeners and stuff, and he doesn't want to do that. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna, he, yeah. was, he, want, he doesn't want to do that. Nah, said, nah, 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 enjoy nah, it. Nah. <laughs> yeah. So you were you headlining what day? Uh, no, I'm gonna do the, the the pool party, but they got Stephanie headlining now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, know I'm gonna have to be there. And and who's the big who's the big draw? So, Which day? Well, well, yeah. Uh, people there. I thought they were there. Was it Los Lobos or somebody? Or was that last year? Oh, you're way off, Nemo. You're way uh, off. A mafia is going to be there this year. Jeff yeah, but they, they had somebody that wasn't Tejano that they were going to perform. And I no, thought it was Los Lobos. Yeah, that was, was last it last year? year? Who was right. it? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, I, I think it was Los Lobos. And I said, what? I remember, yeah, I remember. It was no... Uh, I have no idea. You know what? Our, our, our people tell us who it was. Columbia All Stars were there last year. Yeah, they were there last year. I helped out Jay Bettis last year as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know what? Speaking of Vegas and help, the after party is awesome. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I've got some footage of this that, let me see if I can get it. Yeah, right here. It. <laughs> it's a couple minutes long. We'll play uh, some of it. Here we go. Okay. Yes, I love Everybody needs to go to an after party. Okay. 
Pero sé por mi que Y sigue mi querías Y sigue mi adorada Yeah, look at back there. Te voy a esperar. 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 Te voy a That was awesome. I, I, I enjoyed it. Now, Nemo, I, I don't know if I told you, sir. Uh, JR wasn't there the first year I was there. And the, I enjoyed the after party because there was an incident that happened. Uh, it, and JR, I think uh, Mario Lopez, not Mario Lopez, uh, no. <laughs> Mario, Mario, uh, Ortiz, no. Mario Ortiz, yeah, he was in charge of the band, <laughs> the, the stage for the other Mario Lopez. Uh, I got issues with him, but I'll, that's another story with Mario <laughs> Lopez, not Ortiz. <laughs> but uh, uh, there was one gentleman that ended up getting booed off the stage because he was hogging the stage. Do you remember who that was? I mean, I, think you heard the, I, don't, I can't I don't, remember his name. Yeah, I don't want to say a name. I oh, you don't want to say Okay, that's fine. I mean, and can you give his initials? Maybe a, a, initial? B, a B and an M, maybe? Uh, the, yeah. He was, you know, Mario was telling everybody, you know, you can play one song, and he kept on one. He was asking the, the audience to keep playing and playing. Was it Border? It was it Border? <laughs> like that, and he did not want to get off, and then he invited oh. some lady to come do, on. Do you know? Do you know who it was, uh, Ronald? Do you I know who don't remember their names. Was it? A, was it an older, older man? Was it Bonnie? It's an older man. He played. Uh, I think he played the accordion. Like was, well, was he like in a wheelchair? No, no, no. The lady was in a wheelchair. She oh. got pissed, and she stormed, stormed off in her wheelchair and ran over people all the way wow. out. That was so funny. Yeah. But Bonnie, right. for one time, was in a wheelchair, right? He was, like, having issues well, and stuff. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it was his wheelchair. Yeah. I have no idea. That's another kind of different music. Yeah. Bonnie. He's, he's, I don't want you to yeah. tell me that. He's, uh, he's, I think okay, Bonnie's I the Johnny Cash of Tejano. He's just, like, mad. I, yeah. I like his music. All right, but you know, whoops. Uh, there was another. I've got some more footage that I have of Jr. Uh, and he is such a professional. He, I, I think uh, Lawrence and I, Lawrence, uh, uh, DJ Endio and I are uh, are good friends, and we have a project working together. I think we, when we were there, we kept on saying you were the MVP of Vegas Tejano because you were helping out everybody, and you were helping out Ricardo Castellon. Yeah. And something happened that I, I was going, man, this guy's good. Okay. So I am going to share that footage with everybody. Okay. And let's check it out. <laughs> Crazy. All right. 
that was crazy when I saw that happen. And you're such a professional. I mean, uh, has that happened to you before? Oh yeah, plenty of times. Like, yeah, I, I'm like I'm too aggressive. I, I pull it too hard, and, and I'm just you know, it is what it is. That's the way. Yeah, I great recovery, man. That was great I recovery. Know. I mean, no, it, was it, was yeah. it was flawless. Yeah. You couldn't tell. But it wasn't my, I used an accordion from uh, one of the guys, uh, the bands that was there. So I felt bad, but he was all happy that I broke it. He was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you sign I it? Say, did you sign it? Like, uh, what was that yeah, movie? Uh, yeah. The Selena I movie? Did, said, yeah, the bumper. <laughs> the bumper said, look, the strap. Oh, this is J.R. Gomez's strap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I believe I did sign it. So, yeah, but now uh, – they're from uh, out of Arizona, yeah, man. So yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good this year. Yeah, I, have you ever seen that footage? I mean, no, before? I haven't. I don't. I, I don't like to see my own videos or, or uh, my, performances. Know, okay. Yeah, I'm well, very hard on myself. So. Uh. Oh yeah. Well, I think most professionals are. They don't like to watch themselves like movie yeah. stars. They don't like to watch their movies because they're so critical and stuff yeah. like that. So I, yeah, when I when I mess up on stage, I know I did. So. He's like, I already know what I did, so I don't got to go watch it again and get mad over, you know what I mean? Or uh, read the comments, you know, people talking shit or whatever. Oh, sorry, guys. People uh, love to talk uh, shit, don't they? Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, usually, okay, you know what? We've got a lot of people out, well, out here. Well, hang on. Were you the GoFundMe go guy that did the did the bus? No. <laughs> no? Okay. That was Lucky Joe, dude. Oh, Lucky Joe. I'm sorry. Lucky I'm Joe. Sorry. Okay. Hey, we're probably gonna have like they're gonna talk about all kinds of shit. They're gonna I got all kinds of shit about. <laughs> okay. No. Well, did, the, you, uh, did you at least donate? Uh, did you donate? Yeah, I did. How you did? Yeah. Nemo, did you donate? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> you liar! You didn't. Do- <laughs> I did. Are you yeah, donated your time, baby? Yeah, oh, I yeah, read it. Okay, I, I heard about it. I I yeah, even yeah. shared it. Uh, how much? How much did you donate? I uh, I can't disclose that. Yeah, I, you know what? I, I hate the like, fact. That they charge you a fee to do it. I instead, oh, of, instead of it all going straight to 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 him, they they charge you a fee for doing the donation. I don't know. Mm. Anyway, okay. Well, you know, everybody's got to get their cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. something like that. But we yeah, normally he, he, go. He raised it, so it worked out. Oh, yeah, you got yeah. it. I think he did it like less than like a few days, right? He had yeah. to cut it off. Yeah, within yeah. yeah. Yeah, he raised a lot of money. That's awesome. Yeah. Nothing wrong you ever with thought that. about doing a GoFundMe? No, 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 no. No? Okay. I'm good right now. Yeah, I'm good. You're good? Maybe, maybe yeah, right. maybe in 20 years when I have <laughs> uh, a or something, yeah. We, we need a GoFundMe to hire a producer, Al. Yeah, you, you, need, you need, oh, dang, you need to have a, a budget for glasses and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have yeah. you have several different kinds. Uh, you have uh, the, the, the aviator. Why well, you got? Well, I have brown ones. I have different kinds. You know, whatever goes yeah. with the outfit. So yeah. But you yeah. always have the big ones. Why did you choose? Uh, is that I your got a big head. Your brain? <laughs> I got a big old head. Yeah. So. Yeah. I I don't usually wear that's, these. These are the that's ones. A, that's that's what she said. Out of Corpus. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna go to the uh, the chat like the last 15 minutes, but we got a lot of people on here. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so let's hit the chat. Okay. Sure. Welcome back, Oraldo. It's been a week without being on live. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I missed you guys. I was having fun with my daughter. So. Okay, AGL. Video. I think it, it was Glenn Fry. Okay, yeah. I think you're right. It was Glenn Fry. But, you know, like, uh, what was that song again? Uh, I'm t- about the sunglasses that we no, talked about. No, it wasn't Glenn Fry. No. You sure? No. Who was yeah. it? Yeah, Glenn Fry's with the Eagles, yeah. Uh, yeah, just hang it then. It was some mothers, okay. one one hit wonder guy. Okay, it says, "Wow, nice photograph of uh, Mr. Catinial." Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, and was. my daughter would get it. All right, <laughs> now, let's yeah. see. What's up, buddy Nemo? And what's up with the glasses? We're, we're okay. just trying to. Hey, we got Jay. You the celebrity. Yeah. You're welcome. Sir. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. What's up with Hyman, the legend? Of oh, sorry. That's when I, I edited you the scene and I put the wrong one up front. Sorry, guys. You know, I'm an amateur. No, okay. Go fund me for a producer. Right? Yeah, <laughs> go fund me for a producer. Uh, Mart, uh, he's a, a big watcher of uh, Tejano Talk. Uh, can't wait to see you and AJ 
in Irving uh, Friday night. Yeah. Okay. Right here. Hey, uh, and here's a fun fun fact about Mark. He he is related to your biggest fans in DFW. They're cool. twins. You know who they are. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, Rita and Sarah. Yeah. yeah, they're your biggest fans. They're That's great. Crazy. Yeah, they're, they're crazy. They started a lot of shit uh, on uh, Facebook, <laughs> and but, but you gotta love them, man. They they they're, 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 they keep it one hundred. I know they're crazy girls, man. It's crazy. But no, okay. shout out to the twins over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, you have twin sisters, don't you? Yeah, I got sisters that are twins as well, so uh, they're crazy too. So <laughs> I guess. Yeah. All right. Uh, Luis says, what's up, J.R. Gomez? How's it going? All right. Hey, what's up? What's up? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, AGL says, you won't sweat. Just evaporate. <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> okay. You're I don't just, know what that means. You're stating a fact. You won't sweat. You just evaporate. I sweat a lot when, I, when I'm on stage. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah you do. I, I, I remember you're always with a towel and stuff like that. Yeah. And, oh, you know what? I, I do have a question. Uh, uh, you 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 play with some of the greatest people uh, in Tejano, and uh, you you learned a lot from Jay. Yeah. And I remember like a couple years ago, Jay had a throat surgery because he's got a you know you got to tune up your your uh, your voice sometimes. Have you ever had to do that? No. Um, not yet. Not yet. He, you know, luckily, I'm blessed right now. I mean, nothing crazy, but uh, I try to warm up for my shows. Okay. So he taught you some techniques. Uh, no, did you ever take uh, voice lessons? No, oh, no, Jay. Shit, learning from Jay, man. That's the one. He's okay. the voice. So, you know what I mean? You know, starting so he gave you some team, So he taught me a lot. Oh yeah. All right. Okay, I was I was curious about that. If Jay uh, gave you some pointers on how to warm it up so you don't stress it and stuff. Well, I mean, it's just I I I I, I practice like I would do my studying. You know, what I'm saying I'd watch like Brian McKnight. You know, just you know. Um, just you know, ways to uh, warm up, but it's it's only if you want to learn. You know, you got to learn. You got to practice. You know, you want to yeah. be better. Yeah. I heard a story that uh, one of your uh, heroes, you came up to him, and he well, not heroes, but uh, you came up to him and uh, just said, "Could you show me this and like that?" And he said, "Go home and practice." Yeah, go home and practice. Like Joel Guzman. Yeah. Joel, he's uh, a master accordionist, man. You know what I'm saying, and. Uh, he uh, he was doing the Bob uh, Bob Gallardo albums and uh, okay. I mean he, he was doing all the Ram albums and you know back in the day with Little Joe so I mean he's a, he's a legend man so yeah I went up to him I was like man you can, can you teach me he said no go home and practice <laughs> I got I was only about maybe eleven or twelve but I, I was like no about thirteen maybe but yeah I mean I wanted to learn from him but yeah. I wasn't ready so what was he gonna teach me you know what I mean do you think you know, Bob Gallardo is a better uh, accordion player who Joe is one. Then Joel, no, Bob, you, Gallarza, Bob, no, Bob, Gallarza. Bob's a guitar player. Okay, guitar, yeah. But, but okay, he, you're he, right. But Bob, he was he was the one that uh, like he did all the, the he did the album with the, the house Slave ride. Bump. No, no, he's uh he he used to be. I mean, whenever he was here, rest in peace. But yeah, he was an awesome musician. Yeah, yeah, awesome, definitely. Uh, pro producer, uh, session player, yeah. Yeah. So Joel was everywhere. So I mean, I just wanted to learn, but no, it's cool. He respects me now. We're we're good friends. So uh, you know what. I, I don't know if you knew this, but I, I teach college and I teach math. There we and, go. Okay, yeah. It always turns yeah. out to be the buddy show yeah, eventually. There we go. <laughs> yeah. You can just but, keep uh, it, man. You're almost there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Okay. But sometimes, uh, like, somebody you look up to can give you, f and you get a little disappointed in what they say to you. It gives you fuel to get better like that. Okay. And, yeah. like, I, I, for me, I remember I skipped the – uh, sixth grade? No, it was seventh grade. Not important. And well, well, I was just gonna give you a story, okay? Yeah. And his name was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I skipped seventh grade because I mean, somebody told him. To All right, uh, and smart. You're, you're this, smart. Okay, wow. Well, you know, I'm good at math, I guess. <laughs> okay. But uh, uh, this history guy, I I guess I failed his history test, and it was just the first time. And he told he pulled me after class. You didn't. Do, you don't deserve to go to eighth grade. You shouldn't be here. Wow. And I was going. Who the hell is he? And I said, You know what? After that, nothing but A's on his test. I go. Here you go. It was wow. easy as shit. You know, like that. And then why, another why did guy. You have to wait for somebody to tell you that in order to get A's. That's the real reason, man. Why? Why? Why did you care? Why did you need it? Why? So why did you care why? afterwards? 
nobody tells me what I can and cannot do. This guy yeah, like, nobody. Like, I well, I flunked kindergarten. All right, so I had that little. Okay. Stigma. All right, all right. So let's let's can we? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. But so I had a second incident like that. Okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah. So who's your all top right. five accordions? Oh man, top See, five. I wasn't prepared for that. Shit. How about top uh, three? You okay, top three. That's five. even harder now. Top three. Uh, well, of course, Steve Jordan, man. Steve Jordan's a, he's a bad dude, man. Okay. Steve Jordan, Joel Guzman. Um, yeah, see, that's easy too, right there. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, he, Gilbert Garcia, he Beto Garcia from those Ocibertos. Um, oh, wow. That's, like, that's old school. Well, he's a, okay. uh, and um, who else? I mean, Os uh, Oscar Hernandez. He's awesome. Bobby Naranjo. Bobby Naranjo. Uh, yeah, man, he's a badass dude, man. I think, I, I, I think I said it a couple of weeks ago that, uh, 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 who is it, uh, Jaime Danda. I yeah. really enjoy his performance. I always like it. He's a very good entertainer. Uh, God, uh, you said David the guy, Farias? you said Albert Zamora. Oh, Albert Zamora also is one of yeah. my favorites also. Yeah, yeah. I didn't start listening to Tejano until the, uh, I guess the, Late eighties, early nineties. Uh, I didn't even know what the word Tejano was until I was like thirty. Oh wow! I, I didn't. I didn't grow up in Texas. I grew okay. up uh, in the military. My dad was in the navy for twenty two years. So, but that's a long story. I've so I know. What are we going we with this? All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, <Chima. laughs> okay. But <laughs> you, you are climbing my charts for uh, entertainer. Uh, climbing up like uh, High Medanda. A matter of so fact, who, I saw you. Who, do you like, who, who do you like better, JR or Sonny? Me or Me? Sonny? Oraldo. Yeah, Oraldo. Uh, who do you like uh, performs better? <laughs> well, you know I got issues with Sonny, so <laughs> JR is definitely way better. Uh, no, I, I got a story about it, Sonny, sounds silly, but I'm not going to share it with you <laughs> okay, like that. Yeah. JR <laughs> by far. JR by far. Okay. No. All right, let's hit, hit Let's hit this uh, back. Uh, say what? What a very sad, painful feeling about the passing TV show. Oh yeah, Johnny Canales uh, passed. Were away. you ever on there? Did would you ever any of the bands you played with ever on there? Yeah, I think we. Uh, I think it was Jimmy or or. Uh, yeah, because I never did it with Jay. We never did the. the no. Maybe Fiebre. Fiebre was on there a few times. Yeah, I, I believe so. We did a lot of shows back then. I can't remember. Okay. But oh, by, I remember being on Johnny, but I'm, I don't remember what band it was. It was band yeah. What What was your experience? I mean, did you? It was all lip sync, right? Yeah, but some of them were live. Yeah, oh. some, uh, some of them were live when he when he had them in Corpus. He had some live concerts at Johnny Land and uh, and some other spots over there. So I think okay. that's what I did. I think it was La Fiebre. I think it was La Fiebre. I can't remember. Yeah, if anything, it's probably La Fiebre. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So and definitely. you were with the uh, you were with Jimmy and uh, when he got uh, some Grammys. Yeah, so you're part of that team. Yeah, uh, with the uh, we, we uh, what album was it? It was the. Uh, What's that album? I can't remember the album. <laughs> yeah, to sing more. more. Yeah, to sing more. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it has a. Uh, yeah, it was uh, 2001 or 2002. It won the uh, American Grammy and Latin Grammy. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, wait. Uh, Okay, because uh, I, I remember La Fiebre won, uh, the fir I think it might have been the first Latin Grammy and American Grammy in the same year. No, La Fiebre. La Fiebre. No. No, you might not have been with them at that time, but I think uh, during our interview a couple weeks ago, I think it was the, they had the, a Latin Grammy and an American Grammy. Yeah, nominations. Uh, they never won a Grammy. Fiebre. Nominations, you're right. There were nominations, you're right. Yeah, because my, right. first, my first Grammy nomination was with La Fiebre on the La Fiebre okay. In Vivo Concierto album, okay. I did right. recording on that. So that was the first nomination, and we lost against uh, Flaco Jimenez. Okay. okay. Yeah, you're right. It, they didn't win the Grammy. They, they were nominated for both of those. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Beto. Hey, Beto. Hey, uh, JR. Gomez, thank you for the autograph CD for my son uh, at Trader's Village. Nice. Yeah, what's up, guys? How you doing? All right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Alfredo. Okay. Question for JR. Can anyone sign up to sing at the after party? Um, okay, yeah, that's a good question. We are gonna we're gonna do more variety, yeah. So um, we don't know about a sign up list, but we're definitely gonna get more people involved every uh, every night. 
Because Thursday will be uh, after the uh, pool party. It'll be uh, the after party, but it'll be like more variety. We'll get people to do punch, okay. and get some uh, hip hop and whatever like that. You know, Tejano. You know, but yeah. Friday I remember specifically Tejano, and then Saturday be uh, Conjunto. So okay, so yeah, because yeah, I. Re- I remember one night it was all Cajunto. I wasn't sure if it just yeah. happened to be the people that were showing up for Cajunto. And that's players. what it was too. Yeah, it was, it was the people that were showing up. So we're just going to like divide it so the Cajunto won't go on Friday, you know, and, yeah. and they could be up there. They have to be there Saturday, you know what I'm saying? So, right. but yeah, yeah, it's gonna be of, yeah, it's going to be good. All right. And did it, I remember uh, uh, watching a podcast that you played the Vegas Tejano, they usually had like a, a uh, uh, an accordion, uh, where a bunch of accordions would play at the on yeah. s- Sunday night, a shoot, like a finale or whatever. Accordion, yeah, uh, shoot, uh, yeah, okay. I, and you were there with uh, David Fedias and uh, a few others. I, I can't remember. David Lee, I, I think one. Yeah, one I year. don't remember either. I don't remember. Oh um, my god. It's Vegas. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot yeah. of Patron there. A lot of Patron. <laughs> sure. What's what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, in the yeah. memories, I guess. All right. Uh, so uh, yeah. Alfredo, he has a uh, he he's with a band, uh, a Grupo Fijo, and uh, yeah. he he's a long time listener, and he's got a granddaughter, Ali. What's yeah, Ali's Rio. yeah, a Grupo Rio, exactly, yeah. from Conroe. Uh, okay, nice. yeah. TDK, the show must go on. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are, do you know TDK? Yeah. Have you been? Yeah. yeah He's a funny guy. Okay. Oh, yeah. He says, uh, Salozzi. I can't read that. <laughs> <laughs> My Spanish is Spanish. It's in Spanish. <laughs> I can't, yeah. yeah, I can't see it, but. Vienna, it's Saludos y Bendiciones. Oh, thank you very much. Very nice. Thank you. Right. Okay, Allie wants to sing a song at the after party. Ah, is Allie going? I guess he's going. Is it a? Going. Is it like friendly? That that friendly pool party? Oh, it's after party. <laughs> well, the after, it's I after party. That. I don't know if kids can be in the casino. That's yeah. The yeah, I don't think she could do that. Okay. So, uh, All right. Maybe. I have no idea. I'll find out though. Let me find out, and I'll let you know, brother. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, reach out to. Are you going to be there? Uh, you're going to stay the whole weekend. You're gonna be I, Thursday. I, yeah, I get there Wednesday. So yeah. Okay. So are you gonna help out some of the other bands that play in the uh oh, I, yeah. I'm just going <laughs> and doing Probably my well. thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just out there to have fun. Yeah. All knows? right. Let's see what's up. Can't, can't wait to see everyone at Vegas. Uh you won't be seeing Nemo probably. Oh uh, here we go. Nemo. Nemo. Right. Yeah. Go. I wish. After party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, gotta go to one of them, Nemo. It's a oh here you go. Here, this is why I'm gonna go. Okay, it said, Mart, uh, I'm going to take my speedo <laughs> to the cleaners <laughs> so I can be ready for the Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's going to be front row. Bart. He's going to be front row. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You know what? He's no bad. Way. Cut him off his. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Hey, Mart helps us out. He eats us uh, knowing what's going on in D- DFW, so I can't ban him. I'll do my toy drive. Uh, this past year, and I was like, "Who's back here dancing and stuff?" And I was like, "Oh my god!" You, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know what, Jared? Yeah. You probably should strut a speedo. Yeah. Nah. No. Nope. Nah. No. Nope. Wow. Never. Wow. That that can, yeah. became uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> it's been very uncomfortable now. Wow. Oh, you're doing that for Pride season? Okay. Was Pride month? Uh, okay. Well, good question. Good yeah. question. So, okay. So, okay. FYI, that way. Hey, we're good. I used to wear a speedo. I was on. Oh the, my uh, goodness! My. I used to be on a swim team. They that's forced me. Horrible. They forced me. That is just uh, so horrible. Yes. <laughs> that is okay. such a horrible. Yeah, this is hey, I'm wow. sorry. I can rock a speedo. <laughs> I guess you can't, Nemo. <laughs> yeah, my album came out, okay. Out today. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's right. So, okay. We got to definitely talk, talk about, about the album. Uh, okay, you know what? We'll stop on the. Uh, wait, wait. Here, here, I'm gonna say who who flung skin okay. kindergarten? TDK. Who who flung kindergarten and who would admit that? Just kidding, Ricky. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we we have a little joke about TDK calls me Ricky because uh, I used to look like Ricky Martin back. Whenever he wore a speedo, apparently. Yeah, apparently when I was yeah. wearing a speedo. But now, Iota, yeah. Iota. Okay. All right. Hey, so t- uh, your new album just uh, uh, came out today in Spotify. So tell us a little yeah. bit. About it. 
Well, I mean, it, like we've been working on it for a minute, but it, uh, finally got released. Mario Ortiz, Baby Grand Records. So uh, oh, check the Spotify. And it's officially going to be out tomorrow, but it's already there. I'm going to, you know, just do a video. Yeah, so, I was listening to yeah. it earlier. Yeah, it's uh, some live stuff, and then we did some studio tracks. So, so it's an EP, more of an EP. So, uh, okay. but we have some more music coming out like very soon. So it's, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be good. They're awesome. All right. Uh, let's see what else. What's your single off it? We haven't decided. It might be Besitos. Uh, it's a Selena remake. I, I do it live, so we'll uh, probably do that. Oh, that's good cool. question. Yeah. Okay. And the, the name of it is it? Uh, it's uh, from somewhere in Texas. Somewhere in Texas, live. From some, we took out the live part because we have others that are night live. But we, we are uh, from somewhere in Texas. Nobody. Uh, we didn't tell anybody we're doing a live album. We just uh, oh, okay. set up our own mics. We set up our own mics to the crowd. We did our own stuff, and uh, we, we, yeah, we didn't have to pay the the big money, the productions uh, to do that. So, we took it upon ourselves to do a you know some live. So. Yeah. So I I know you you worked with Gibby back in the day. Uh, so how how you uh, how you uh, how, split how, it out. Split it out. how do you feel about working with Mario? Oh yeah, well Mario yeah, I mean Mario's awesome. Gibby's he's great too. He's a, he's amazing. So we, we, we don't we don't uh yeah, we have no no beef with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I love to work with everybody. Everybody has different ideas. They bring stuff to the table that you know that they only can bring. So yeah. um, have you worked have you worked with like Sevi or uh Zavala and stuff like that? No, not yet because I was under uh contract with Baby Grant Records, so Oh, okay. So yeah, I didn't know that. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I've talked to all these guys, you know, we've always talked about, you know, making music together. Um, but yeah, I, I try to write my own songs and uh, try to arrange them. You know, when I get to the studio, I'm ready to work. So yeah. uh, I love doing, I love being in the studio. I think he, yeah, one time you were saying you, uh, uh, you and your dad write songs. Yes, me and my dad, yeah, yeah. My dad loves to write songs. Uh, his style is different, so he'll, he'll show me what he has and then I'll go back and reword them or rewrite the words and make it more. You know, the to what's out there now. So then I'll arrange the songs. But yeah, a lot of songs me and my dad, and then I wrote uh, a few songs as well. Okay. Hey, yeah. you know what? I said I suck at Spanish. You know, I suck at English too. But uh, are you fluent in Spanish? Uh, Spanish, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, not fluent, but I, I, I can definitely hold my ground. When I was, because yeah. when I was with AB, um, I was a lead singer, so I had to talk Spanish. You, over there, you got to sing the correct way to sing Spanish. You know what I mean? That's that's the first. Yeah, that's true. Um, so uh, we do interviews, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can hold it, hold my ground. I, I talk pretty good. Yeah. You were going to yeah. tell us the story about uh, AB. Uh, story. Uh, oh, story? I I story. no, but no, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm current. Yeah, me and AB are going to work on something together. Um, it's not out. I mean, we're, he's in the studio right now, so. Uh, Right. Uh, after 10 years, uh, no, after about seven years, yeah, since I've been away from maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do something together, so it's gonna be awesome, yeah. Do you think he's I gonna think, recover? Uh, I can't, I can't say anything about it. I can't say <laughs> no, I'm just saying, do you think he'll recover from all this? Because you know, they started, oh, yeah, he started, oh, no, that I thought you said, uh, are you recording about uh, the song? Uh, no, no, uh, with, with that, I mean, everybody's human, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's just the fact that. People have phones around that were going to record, and a lot of San Antonio wasn't even there at the thought explosion. There was more people from out of town, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It is what it is, but I mean, I've, I've been in those situations where I was singing on stage with AB. AB's music is, you know, it's more of, you know, up upbeat tempo, and right. like I said, the VIP, like the people in the front were all VIP, um, right. and it's kind of hard for us to get into it when they're eating wings and Fucking <laughs> down burgers right in front of us and and not listening, not paying attention. Yeah, I mean, there's a spot Is for that... VIP. I ain't gonna argue. I mean, I've had this 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 discussion with people. I mean, that's just my opinion. There's spots for VIP. They should let the fans in the front. The fans drive. Right. Them. It's just a better atmosphere. The fans the is front. that is that a new trend that they're putting them right up front? Because I remember yeah. back in the day, VIP was always like on backstage side, yeah. or on, on the side. side. Oh, yeah. yeah, back or on the side, and and yeah. a lot of it is a lot of the sponsors they buy. They have they're sponsoring that night or whatever, so they're giving these tickets to the, their workers. Here, I, I have I sponsored this event. Here is some VIP tickets. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
So right. they're saying, okay, we're, they're going to go enjoy it and uh, eat and enjoy the VIP. They don't even care who's performing. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? I think so it's, yeah. Put it back to the side. You know, let, yeah, put it on the side. Let the fans in the front. Even if it's yeah. 100 or 200, if there wasn't that many people, but those 200 fans are right in the front and they're having the time of their lives. Oh, yeah. I mean, totally it, what is, and, but AB said some stuff, you, you know, he, but it is, he has some stuff on his mind, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I, I said we should give him a pass. You know, I mean, I, I, look at, look yeah. at the, the hip hop world. These guys are actually making songs. Dissing each other, so I mean, it, yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? I mean, he said some. He said some in the past as well. He, 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 he's the one that's gonna deal with it, but it's nobody's perfect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And after everybody has people, phones after now. People talking shit. Probably yeah. some of those guys are going home to beat their wives. And, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah they're, they're probably never. They probably never been to a show. But you have a lot, a lot of phones now. I mean, it's just a society. Oh my god, there he goes. <laughs> uh yeah, like Jennifer Pena, you know, she got caught up. They they put that hidden thing, and they just try they try and and bait you so that they could get clicks, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely, uh, definitely, they knew what they were doing. They were trying to get a reaction out of her. Yeah. You no, know, the phone was there. Oh, Jennifer. Yeah. yeah. They knew what she was saying. I mean, that the lady and yeah, and then they tried to get that reaction so they can to so get clicks. That's you, it. You can already tell she was already she already had said that name to probably the, the, the comadres in the bag. I'm gonna call her this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like she was waiting. She was waiting. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It was, it was there was no setup. need to say shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, it's uh, there's miscommunication. I don't know. I, I I do know, but I don't want to say nothing. But uh, <laughs> okay. uh, but it, it happens. You know what I mean, it, even with us, with the men, you know, I was reading a lot of comments that it wouldn't happen if it was a male performer. Well, because the men, I mean, somebody would probably get beat up. You know what I'm saying? If men are different, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? they're gonna actually yeah. handle it, or nobody. I know. Perform, but, yeah, um, there's, there's always problems. We have always asked for more money. They, Say no, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's this business we signed up for. It, you know what I mean? So, True. I actually okay. got. A, I actually wrote a country song, uh, and, and and that those words are in it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It is. is it on on this on this album? Yeah, uh, it's gonna be in the next song coming out. Um, I don't know. It, it might not. It's not gonna be on this one, but it'll be another release. Just real okay. Soon. It's called. Oh, that's it's cool. called. It's called Small Town Kid. I wrote it because uh, I'm from Plainview, Texas. You know, it talks about life on the road and what you miss, and you know. And but you signed up for it. You know what I'm saying? So okay. a lot of musicians will relate. All right, now Nemo's got a uh, got bedtime. It's usually eight o'clock. We're just gonna finish this uh, uh, round of uh, chat, and then uh, we'll sign off. Uh, All right. Okay. Let's see. Uh, TDK. It says. Uh, I've seen JR perform several times, and he's always has time uh, for his fans. I appreciate that. Much respect. Uh, that's the first time I see J <laughs> JR's eye. Hey, <laughs> did we see JR's eye? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> An exclusive yeah. right here, JR. Whenever, whenever he was trying to read it, I, uh, I saw I missed that the first time, I guess. Okay. I'm but, surprised uh, Laser did are, they, are they Chinese eyes or what? <laughs> Uh, me no talking. <laughs> right. I see him puffing away. <laughs> okay. uh, I, I guess Allie's going to be forming on Saturday. All right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Lone Mexican, uh, where you put at the Jewel in San Antonio on Friday? I don't know. Yeah. What it is. So they start talking to each other. Yeah. They, our <laughs> chances, about... <laughs> okay. I probably should read these before, but I'm such a slow. Like I said, I flunk kindergarten, so yeah. my reading skills suck. And I'm not wearing my glasses. Hey, Nima, why don't you uh, read these? I will. I mean, no problem. Okay. You read that one. Uh, yes, we were there. Ali was in the studio on Friday. Nice. Okay. Uh, says, I'm more hurt. Oh, this is Lisa Lugo. I'm more hurt that he talked about my cowboys. Oh, he's talking about. And oh, I think yeah. a lot of people are, especially. You can't do that in Texas. Of course. Yeah. Like, AB, AB don't even like sports. That's what I was like. Just, yeah. He's, yeah. He's, yeah. Five, yeah. He's, five, he's my boy, though. He's my boy. I, he's I, five, I, four, I think that's what everybody's butt heard about. It was about the Cowboys. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 hey, JR, don't you have a Cowboy tattoo? A star? Uh, the, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somewhere there. Yeah, there it is. How, how old were you when you got the tattoo? Uh, I was in. I was, 
You're going to say a joke or what? <laughs> I was really going at it. Yeah, he, he's, 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 yeah. he's on a cowboy fan. He's on a cowboy fan. I know. He's like, yeah, he's like A.B. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking uh, too much. <laughs> All right. But no, thank you guys so much for everything. No, all the support. Uh, I got a lot of shows. This Friday will be in Irving. Uh, Jerry okay. Local Bandits and uh, AJ Castillo. It's going to be good. At the, at the Pavilion? At the, South, right. at the Southern Junction. Southern okay, Junction. Southern Junction. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a nice place, man. Yeah. It's a nice big place and stuff. Yeah. yeah and then I'll be going to Chicago next weekend. I'll be okay. performing out in Chicago and then uh, we can go to head up. Uh, these are shows around uh, Texas, uh, Mustang Sally's, us and uh, Mike Iconic. And then- that's San Antonio, right? Yeah, San Antonio. Yeah. Okay, and then cool. Vegas. Everybody's got to remember to go to Vegas. Hey, I want to say a uh, shout out to Dallas. <laughs> okay. They did good. They, they tried. They, did, they had a great year. You know what? Um, Aggies are in the uh, yeah, oh, whatever. Yeah. You get over Thanks the Aggies. You know, yeah. My phone's about to die, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Good one. That's a good one. I don't yeah. think we've heard that okay, one before. Wait, I appreciate before, you. <laughs> before you go, before you go, tell, tell hey, I, I need you to screenshot the percentage, man. I don't believe it's, it's, it's 3%. 3%. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, okay. Before you go, tell everybody where they can uh, get a hold of you, all your social media and stuff. Uh, yeah, just call my mama. Call the twins. Call the twins. They know how to get. Now, wait a sec. Oh, when you were growing up, you didn't have a phone all the time. They'd have to call your aunt, right? Yeah, oh yeah, it's, seriously. Because yeah. man, uh, that's another story. I got to get me on the show again. That's another. Yeah, oh, story. definitely. Yes. Yeah, but no. Uh, uh, Jr. Gomez on Facebook. You can find me there on Instagram on uh, official Jr. Gomez five one two. Uh, and then the new album's on Spotify right now, and it's going to come out on all media platforms uh, tomorrow at midnight tonight. So Who does your artwork? I do all my artwork. Oh, that's my- badass, dude. I yes. I, uh, that's a tattoo yeah. right there, man. Put over yeah. that star. Yeah, man. Do you I have got- a tattoo with it? No, I don't, man. I got so many tattoos, but I don't. So okay. that'll be my next. I'm going to do a chest piece. So. That- <laughs> Right. That is that is a that is a cool piece right there, man. Right. Yeah, no. you're, you're you're talented. You're talented, dude. Thank you, brother. Good for Thank you. All right. Make okay. Well, well, make my own shirt. All right. So he said. Okay. Well, I am looking okay, forward guys. to seeing you in Vegas, and uh, everybody should check him uh, check out his social media and make sure you go to the concert. Where, where is it again? You're playing with the agent. Uh, Friday in Irving, Texas, at the Southern Junction. Southern Junction. Southern Junction. Southern Junction. All right. Well, thanks for being here, and we definitely have to have you back. Awesome, yeah, thank you guys yeah. so much. And of course, yeah. thank you for all the support. Thank you guys. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. That's great. I love having him. I've been looking to have him on for the show for a while. Like that. And I, and I actually got his phone number from back in Cinco Mile when he was performing. Yeah, well, like how, do you think that he really had 3% or he had to go to the potty or something? <laughs> hey, hey, do you know who's coming next week? Did I tell no, you that? Uh-uh. Let's see. It's going to be Shelly El Gallo Dez next oh, week. Oh, both of them. Wow. All yeah. Right. Uh, and then after that, it's going to be Stephanie. And, uh, with uh, Gabe? That's... Yeah, with Gabe. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So June 25th, it's going to be Shelly and El Gallo Dez. Uh, July 2nd, it's Stephanie and uh, Gabe Zavala. And on the 9th. So that's 4th of July weekend. Why are we doing shows on, on, on 4th of July and holidays? It's a Tuesday. What are you talking about? Fourth of July is on the fourth, dude. I know. Okay, but... well, okay, you know what? You don't have to be here on July second, okay? I got well, Stephanie and Gabe. You, you, I can do it solo if you want me to, but you're invited to show up, okay? And then July 9th is David Farias. We got him. Uh, oh, back. Vegas. All right, nice. All right, all right, nice. and I, and I'm going to start filling up the rest of July probably next week. Okay, so if you want to get a hold of me, oh wait, I never did that, did I? Oh, thank God! Uh, Here we go. Yeah, it's eight yeah. o'clock, man. Uh, wait a second. I'm you know, signing off. Everybody, subscribe. You know, do you know what to do? Subscribe to all your friends. Click that button. And if you want to get a hold of me, uh, you can email me at it's a hundred time at gmail dot com and uh, just uh, you know get put your information and I'll try to contact you there. Okay, you don't waste your time. Contact an email because he, he doesn't read his emails. All right. So, Thank you, Mart, Fredo, TDK. Thank yes, you guys. Uh, sorry we didn't have a chance to see everybody else. I think we got everybody, right? Yeah, uh, Luis. 
uh, Lugo said, "Congrats on the new album." Lisa, Lisa Lugo, hey, welcome, welcome to the show. Yes, congrats. Uh, AGL video, AGL. Uh, videography, yeah, welcome to the show. You know what? I I've seen his uh, channel or their channel on YouTube before. They have they have a lot of good stuff. What did he say? Uh, uh, it, it was, was a, a pleasure, pleasure meeting JR, JR in Milwaukee, in Milwaukee last year. Yeah, humble, awesome musician. I actually filmed it. If you haven't seen it, yes. So yeah, everybody check out so a- AGL. We, so he filmed. Okay, so it was a pleasure meeting Jr. So he filmed himself meeting Jr. And he wants us to, <laughs> to show that. No, he probably filmed the uh, oh, footage okay. of Jr. Oh, 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 I didn't know. Yeah. yeah, I I really like his uh as his channel. All, All right. right, cool. Okay, uh, I'm your host Oraldo for and it's the Hunter time, and I'm Nemo with the Hunter USA. And you've been listening and watching to Hano Time. All Thank right. you. See you next week, Nemo. And broadcast.